everything has side effects that we do in medicine. And the side effects that most people have been seeing, which I've seen myself, are pain in the arm, we know that. Some people have low-grade fevers, some people have myalgias, muscle aches, they have headache. Some people have pain under their arm for a week or two after they get the vaccine. These are real side effects, but they're not serious, and they go away in everyone. And they're a small price to pay for preventing a deadly disease from infecting you and your loved ones. So the vaccine was studied to prevent symptomatic COVID. And we know that if you get this vaccine, you're not gonna get serious COVID. And if you get COVID, it's gonna be a very mild case. But the vaccine trials never studied whether people could theoretically get asymptomatic COVID. It wasn't possible to do that in the trials. Therefore, it is still possible that people who get the vaccine could get asymptomatic COVID and theoretically spread it. How common that is, we don't know yet. I think it's very rare, but for that reason, people still need to continue to wear their masks and socially distance until we get further information on whether that's really likely or not. We don't know how long it lasts yet. We all hope it lasts for years and years, but realistically, we're, we'd be happy for a year or two at this point in time. Time will tell, but I suspect people will need boosters and perhaps variations of this vaccine down the line if the virus changes. And those are all things that may need to be done. I think the new normal, if we project out six or seven months, is a decline in the amount of COVID in our community, a loosening up of restrictions. I do think we will still be wearing masks. I think we'll still be paying attention to how long the immunity lasts from those vaccines when we'll need boosters. I don't think we will have enough of the population fully vaccinated that we'll be back to the way we were, you know, two years ago, but we'll be a lot closer.